Assalamu alaikum YouTubers Welcome back to SLK Tools Here in this section We'll be just designing a square trichinum Alright And of course this is our CD Our reinforced concrete design So we'll design a square trichinum right And this is of course the simplest thing in design I think Alright so actually a few friends just demand the design of a square column that's why i'm just doing this topic today all right and the design of a square tie column is quite simple and straightforward but how can you design if you don't know about different requirements of columns all right so i just want to spend a little time with aci 318 requirements per columns all right this will of course helps us in design okay and the first thing I just want explaining is uh, the percentage of steel and according to ACI 318 the percentage of man's steel must not be less than 1% nor more than 8% alright this is a good ratio right for design okay so uh, actually the, the percentage is taken uh, of all gross cross section area of column right and this is uh, which means AST must not be less than 1% of gross cross section area. And of course AST must not be greater than 8% of AG or gross cross section area, right? And of course at least 4 longitudinal bars must be used within rectangular or circular ties. And this is of course uh, just little different for spiral. Uh, which is uh, always kept or at least six longitudinal bars must be used within spiral ties these are just aci 318 requirements per column right i want to spend a little time with some additional requirements only per tie columns and then then i'm just coming back per spiral columns right these are just uh, some additional requirements and the first thing per tie columns requirements, I just want to explain the minimum tie size. Of course, it's number 3 bar, right? Per longitudinal bars up to number 10. And this can be taken number 4 bar per longitudinal bars larger than number 10. Alright? And this is a good ratio, I think. And commonly, we also use this, guys. So this is the, the good requirement, right? And the next thing is just the minimum tie spacing. So the minimum tie spacing is the largest of these two, one inches, or one main bar's diameter, All right? So the largest of these guys can be taken for minimum tie spacing. What about the, the maximum tie spacing? Of course, it is just the smallest of these three guys. The number one is four eight tie bar diameter, of course. So put it eight times diameter of tie bar. Second, 16 times main bar's diameter, all right? The first thing was just tie bar diameter. The next thing is just the main bar's diameter, right? And the third one is just the least dimension of column and cross section, right? Of course, the length is always greater than, right? Uh, than the both dimension of its cross section. And this is, of course, square column. So the cross section is uniform, right? One side and another side are equal, right? So, the maximum tie spacing is just the smallest of these three guys. Alright, these are good requirements. I like them. And the next thing is the spacing of main bars. According to ACI 318, no main bar can be located more than 6 inches from another bar. Alright, uh, which means the maximum spacing is just 6 inches. Right? The spacing cannot be just greater than 6 inches. If you keep this guy just less than 6 inches, no problem. All right? Just look at this picture. Which means the distance must be kept less than or equal to 6 inches. Which is just the spacing between main bars. In this section, just look at this guy. The maximum distance between two bars is just 6 inches. Right? So this is a good requirement and these requirements are just enough for design of a tie square column. I want to come into some additional uh, requirements just for spiral column. Alright. And the first thing is just 
the spiral may not have diameter just less than three or eight inches of course which means number three bar can be used are just larger all right as it must not be less than three or eight inches and three or eight inches is just of course number three right if you keep this guy just larger than number three no problem okay but cannot be kept just less than number three and the clear spacing of spiral must be just between one and three inches right which means the pitch and the pitch can be defined as the distance between two turns of spiral all right now if you if you know about these requirements the design is of course quite simple and straightforward but i don't want to come into design now i just want to analyze a simple a simple square column based on aci codes and i'll check uh, the column is okay or not right so are you ready of course you are ready i know i know it okay so here is an example oh of course it's an example and uh, we are just demand to find the design axial load uh, or the design axial load strength for square tie column the strength of concrete is just 4 ksi which means fc dash we call this guy fc dash or fc prime okay and the fy is just the the strength of uh, steel which is 6 60 ksi right kip per square inch ksi is just kip per square inch we are also demand to 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 do little detailing check for the column but where is the column it's here of course this is just a square column 18 by 18 inches the concrete cover is 2 inches the tie is number 3 at a rate of 6 inches and the main bars are just 8 in number and number 9 are used right so everything is given everybody okay i'll just come straight into solutions and the solutions my parameter and the column parameter are just fc prime fy b uh, b equals h uh, because this is just a square which is 18 inches and ast what do you think about ast area of steel just look at our hair we have eight number of bars right which are just number nine bars and the area of number nine bar is of course uh, 0 0.999 blah 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 square inches which can be calculated using the area of a circle right and this formula pi r square is just equal to the area of a circle and the bar is just a circular bar right so plug and check in, in this guy you can get 0 0.99 some things square inches of one bar and we have of course eight and the 0 0.99 is just of course equal to one square inches right and this is quite simple so i can say we have a s t equals to eight square inches all right if you are not clear no problem just type in command and ask a question i'll reply you okay and the parameter the design para, the, the design capacity is just pi 0.81 and the theta is 0.65 and of course these guys are just for tie columns not for spiral column all right we'll also explain these guys in spiral column when we do the design of that guy on that time okay now we are just passing the design of square column so everything is given now i'll come just into solutions the first thing my first approach is just to design axial load and for this i have a nice formula right theta of he n equals theta alpha 0.85 five times fc prime ag negative ast plus fy ast plug and check in you must get alpha where is it it's here oh it's theta of course 0.65 plug this guy in this formula and the alpha is just 0.8 so plug this guy over here of course we have 0.85 fc prime is just 4 ksi ag what's ag of course it's 18 by 18 because it's a square column so ag is just three to four square inches plug this guy over here 
negative AST, AST is just 8 square inches plus FY is just 60 KSI and the AST is again 8 square inches. When you do little mathematics with this guy, you can get the design axial load strength of this column equals 808.228 which is almost equal to 808 caps. And this was just our first approach. My next approach is a detailing check. Is the column okay or not? Alright, so let's do the detailing check for this column. This column has been designed by someone I don't know. But I want to check the column is okay based on requirements or not. Alright, and the first thing I want to check the steel percentage. Which is of course AST divided by AG. Alright, this will give me the percent of steel and the percentage of main steel, right? ST is given as eight, for, uh, 8 square inches and AG is of course 3 to 4 square inches. You can get 0 0.0 4 uh, uh, digit, okay? There is no unit with this because this is the ratio of the same units. Uh, of course, when you multiply this guy with 100, you can get 2.4%. And according to ACI 318, the percentage is just 1 to 8 percent, right? Which is between them, right? So we are okay here, yes! And the next thing is the number of bars, which is uh, 8 bars, alright? These guys, when you just count these black dots, which represent the main steel bars, are just 8 in numbers, just look at our hair. And according to ACI, what's the minimum requirement? At least 4. Of course, this is greater than 4. So we are also okay over here, right? Next, next is the minimum tie size. Number 3. And look at our hair in the column. We have, of course, number 3. So we are also okay over here. And what's the minimum tie spacing? Of course, it's just 1 inches, right? Because uh, here we have number 9 which is greater than uh, 1 inches. So I'll take 1 inches. And we have 6 inches center to center. So which is greater than 1 inches. We are also okay over here, right? Now I'll come to the maximum tie spacing. The maximum tie spacing of course you know are just the smallest of 3 guys. Uh, uh, which is uh, the first one is just 4 8 times diameter. Plug this guy over here. 4, 8, and the diameter, just look at our hair, it's number 3 bar, right, which means 3 by 8 inches. Do little mathematics with this guy, you can get 18 inches. Next, we have 16 times diameter of main bar. So 16 times the diameter, we have number 9, so 9 over 8 inches. You can get 18 inches again. And the next thing is the least di column dimension in a cross section. We have only 18 inches again. <laughs> yeah, and it's really good. I like it. So uh, the maximum tie spacing is 18 inches, of course. And what we have, we have just 6 inches, which is less than 18 inches. So we are also okay over here. And the next thing I want to just check is uh, the spacing of main bars. Do you remember it's uh, the maximum spacing is just uh, 6 inches? I remember, yeah, of course, according to ACI 318, it's 6 inches. We must uh, need less than or equal to 6 inches, of course. Just look at our hair. The size is just 18 inches. I'll subtract 2 times concrete cover per one side and another side. And the concrete cover is, of course, 2 inches. So negative 2 times 2. I'll also subtract two times uh, the tie diameter for one side and another side. And the tie diameter is just 3 by 8 inches, right? Because we have number 3 bar. I also want to subtract uh, three main bars because we have 1, 2, and 3 in this sequence, all right? And the diameter of this guy is number 9 inches, which is, of course, 1.125 inches, right? So 3 times 1.125 inches just for these 3 uh, main bars, right? And we'll divide this guy by 2 because we have 2 spans, right? 
uh, we are just checking the distance between these two bars and we have the spans equals 2 so I'll divide this guy by 2 do little mathematics with this guy you can get the spacing equals 5 inches alright which is of course less than 6 inches and the maximum video is just 6 inches and this guy is just little than 6 inches it means we are also okay over here right what now so the current design uh, which you are just seeing on the screen is okay 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 yeah it's okay so we are done over here and I'm just little tired okay uh, I don't want to design the column today actually I'll design the column on next Monday right so just wait for that we'll design the column in the next lecture thank you for watching see you next time and what nothing wassalam